Hello everyone and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in Las Vegas at HIMSS where I'm now delighted to be joined by Chris Pori, Global Head of Healthcare and Life Science at Hakoda. Chris, such a pleasure to be with you here today. Great to be with you as well, Ryan. Chris, at Hakoda, you are a leading data consultancy in the healthcare and life sciences space. Your teams have helped some of the largest healthcare and life science organizations in the country build and implement compliant data infrastructures. How is the team innovating, resulting in increased patient outcomes? And can you share some of the specific examples with the audience watching here today? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Ryan. So, yeah, we have a number of different cool use cases. I mean, I think there a lot of a lot of initial projects move into like a modern data platform, like a Snowflake, is going to start with just migration and, and initially like modernization. We want to get to monetization or and or innovating, and so we have a lot of both. And I think even the ones that are more migrating and just helping them do a lot what they do with their data and analytics at their organization reduces costs, more operational efficiency. So that does indirectly impact patient lives. But we do have a couple cool ones where we're really getting to like the front lines and actually feel like we're making a big impact. So one of those was with an organization, uh, they're actually the second largest healthcare organization outside the United States. Uh, they're in the United States now building their US division. Wow. And uh, one of the things they're doing, they have some pharma organizations under their uh, portfolio and they're also investors in some of the largest uh, cancer institutes in the country. So what we're doing is we're working with the chief medical officer at the Cancer Institute. We're actually helping build an NLP and LLM model to better place patients in clinical trials. So we're helping screen them and get more people placed in clinical trials to help reduce and essentially like make an impact on those patients' lives. And so being able to uh, integrate the use of AI within Snowflake te technology, connect the dots between a provider and like a pharma organization has been an extremely exciting project. Great to hear. Thank you, Chris. Diving in a little bit deeper into Snowflake, how does the AI data cloud bring insights at scale for Hakoda? And as it relates to healthcare and life sciences more broadly, what trends are emerging? Yeah, so I think there's a couple different ones. So we're using AI as our organization to disrupt ourselves. So one of the things when we are doing some of those projects that are more, you know, we talk about innovation, but we make our money a lot of times as data plumbers because some of the largest projects are helping them sunset some of their legacy platforms. We're even using AI there. So even though it is more of a old school technology, we're using AI to actually rationalize a lot of what's happening in the legacy tools because a lot of times the people who built those, uh, let's say data pipelines and uh, legacy databases have long since left the organization. And so we're using AI to actually help explain what's going on so that we can simplify and rationalize what we actually move over to that platform. But then as far as Snowflake's tools and how we're helping healthcare organizations, I think I, what I love about the new tools, and a lot of them have come over, out over the last year, they've kept with that theme of being extremely simple and easy to implement. And so I think in healthcare, that makes a big difference because there's a lot of great people who work in healthcare, but they certainly, for the most part, didn't come as software engineers right. from tech, you know, Silicon Valley. And so being able to give them tools that can give them the cutting edge capabilities, but have it still be, you know, I, I describe it as putting the cookies on the lower shelf for a lot of folks yeah. who've been in healthcare a long time. So let, let them do what they do. Yeah, best. focus on actually analyzing and, and, and driving efficiencies and or finding opportunities to impact patient lives, but less time like worrying about jockeying with tech. I love that. How does the AI data clouds governance and ease of use allow Hakoda to securely source data throughout its patient's entire life cycle while improving operations, patient experiences, and overall financial performance? And those features have continued to evolve there. So I've been a, prior to being at Hakoda, I was actually a Snowflake customer at a health system out in Southern California. I was there for a number of years. We brought in Snowflake. And I think one of the first things we noticed right away is that, you know, we were extremely sensitive as an organization moving to the cloud. A lot of that has since evolved and organizations are more comfortable with that. Snowflake from every step of the way, just the actual individual support and the people who worked in the, you know, your CISO and things like that, being able to help us understand what was possible with that platform was huge. Um, some of the organizations we've worked with have gone through breaches. And there's actually even some of those organizations, the only thing that didn't get breached was the Snowflake platform after using all the different features of uh, encryption. Um, we heavily on our projects use some of the features of dynamic data masking and row and column level security. Uh, one of the uh, organizations we did that with was actually the, it's actually, uh, let's say the largest insurer in the United States. I'll even guess who that might be. But we actually did a lot of their work as, a, as a, the Snowflake architects for that platform. And one of the big things we did was uh, help them actually implement row and column level security and uh, dynamic data masking and tagging of all the data within what they call the integrated data repository for the federal government's uh, healthcare system. Thank you for that, Chris. Your model capitalizes on the deep experience in healthcare and life science space by deploying tried and true data strategies that help your ecosystem deliver on their goals faster while adapting in real time to changing needs for your business. 
how is AI playing a direct role in making this happen? First, where we fit in the space, and, how, and then I'll get, get to answering your question, is a, a number of my team uh, at Hakoda, the healthcare team, we came from actually working in the industry. So myself working at a hospital in San Diego, a number of folks that worked at different payers, uh, some of the largest integrated uh, delivery networks in the country, and then also a number of pharma and life science companies. And so, you know, we feel like we have that understanding of like what needs to happen as far as data and now AI, and then also what the limitations and what the boundaries are, what the, what the challenges we're dealing with upstream and downstream and Snowflake in those organizations, because we've been there and done that in our past life as head of data or principal architects at those various organizations. So we recognize too, when it comes to AI, um, you know, there's been other technologies that have evolved in that space and we've had to push out to our different users, whether those are docs at a health system or different people in the lines of business at a major health insurer. And, you know, there's a different, you know, level within healthcare. I mean, I've been in a number of different industries. Maybe it's not totally different, but, you know, how quickly they'll adopt those different technologies right. and how easily you can embed it in their workflow. And just in any organization, pushing in change is challenging. So as it relates to AIs, again, I like, I like the, the simplicity of Snowflake's tools. Uh, being able to actually make it something that just as someone who just knows SQL could actually use an AI, you know, Cortex analyst right directly in their workflow. It's so empowering versus being able to figure out how you'd use that with any number of cloud services or, you know, hundreds of other technologies. And so that's, I mentioned putting the cookies on the lower shelf. That's what it means in practice is being able to give someone who's uh, used to working in Microsoft Excel or Microsoft Access the powerful capabilities of AI, but being able to do it at that level, it's, it's, it's massive for the data strategy because then you could look at being able to actually roll that out to different parts of the organization and equip them and empower them, but have it still governed and secure is, uh, is all, in one, all in one platform is, is, uh, is a huge um, value add. So I love that breakdown. Thank you, Chris. How does being named an award winner for the healthcare and life science sector positioned Hakoda for the year ahead? Yeah, um, it was cool to win that award. It was humbling. It was very exciting. Um, but yeah, I think it just it just motivated my team even more. Uh, so my team actually has a mission statement. Is It's actually adopted from one of our team members. He came from Kaiser Permanente. His name's Dale Cox. And his personal mission statement was, and as I started to lead the team, he said, as long as you can put me in a position where I'm using technology and data and my skills to impact patient lives, then I'm going to be happy. And if I'm not doing that, I probably won't be the best fit for your team. And so I actually ended up, you know, uh, with his pleasure, yeah, exactly. It's an amazing mission. Adopting it as our team mission statement. And so um, I think the ability to be recognized of that against some of the really incredible companies who are, you know, far bigger than us, um, you, know, you know, let's say, I don't want to say we're punching above our weight class because we think we're punching right at our weight class, but being able to actually, you know, get recognized as such is just even further motivation of like, how can we keep taking it to the next level and helping organizations get to where they need to go faster, more efficiently, and then again, pushing the needle on how we can you know, help them on their, what we would call their data innovation journey. Well, Chris, I really enjoyed our conversation. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me, Ryan. For the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. We'll see you soon.